Today we end our Devo time in the Gospel of John. We will look at chapter 20 and 21. And it's all about resurrection. It's all about restoration. Jesus has been risen from the dead, and you know the story. Mary comes looking for him. And she comes to the tomb, and Jesus sees her there and says, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you seeking? And she tells him she's looking for Jesus, thinks he's the gardener, and says, If you know where he is, I'll, I'll take the body. And then Jesus says her name, and she recognizes his voice. She falls to his feet. It's kind of like that, my sheep know my voice. She recognizes it. And she's so amazingly encouraged to know that Jesus is alive. And then Jesus appears to the disciples. There, there be hind closed doors. And he says, peace to you, shalom. As the Father has sent me, I send you. He begins to commission them. And then this happens. It's an amazing thing that happens. And when he said this to them, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. A lot of people think that that was to happen in the future at Pentecost or whatever. But I think when the living, resurrected King of Kings and Lord of Lords breathes on you and says, Receive the Holy Spirit, you receive the Holy Spirit. And they were, I think, in some sense, born again truly for the very first time. And then you go into chapter 21, and there's that great story of the restoration of Peter, where Jesus comes to him there by the sea, and he makes him breakfast, and he calls him out and says, Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? And finally, he says, you know all things, Lord. You know that I love you. And Peter doesn't say, well, then you got to go back to the very beginning. you got to earn your way back into the group. You've denied me three times. No, he just says, Peter, based on the fact that you love me and you're willing to follow me, feed my sheep. And that's really the only real requirement to be one who feeds Jesus' sheep is that you truly love him and you're willing to follow him and you've been restored by him. So chapter 20, chapter 21, in with great revelation, resurrection, and restoration. Take a look through those passages. They're powerful, they're insightful, and it's the way the writer, the way the Holy Spirit ends the Gospel of John.